Thanks for checking out my pixels.ai thumbnail tutorial. If you'd like to follow along, you can click the link down below in the description or the pinned comment to do that. Or maybe if you want to see how it works, you can also just try them for free for the first time. Let's begin. All right, so here we are on the inside of Pixels. And the first thing you're going to want to do, perhaps if you're going to want to be using yourself in a lot of these thumbnails, if you go down to the account section right here under personas, click there. And as you can see, I have one called Marketing Island. So this is going to be me. If you want to create one for yourself, obviously, or maybe someone else, you can click on Create. And it's going to give you some guidelines here, which are pretty helpful. So it says each image should feature only one clearly visible person. So make sure there's not three people, two people, just one. Okay, so next it says faces should be clearly visible and unobstructed. Avoid sunglasses or masks. So don't do this, but do something like that. And of course, last but not least, you can include different angles, expressions, and lighting conditions. So even if you're looking a little bit to the left or to the right, that's going to be good. I'm just going to click on got it here. And all you need to do is give it a name. You can't use any spaces, but just the way it is. And then upload at least 10 images of yourself. After doing this, it's going to take 200 credits, I believe. And it's going to queue and probably take like five minutes or so to do it. It's not going to take too long, but that's going to be how you can create your persona. I already have mine, so I don't need to create another one. Now, something you do want to keep in mind is that anytime you're going to create a specific thumbnail, you can go to personas and actually just turn it on like this. So now you're going to see Marketing Island is going to be used. And in this one, it's not going to be. So let's go with actually creating our thumbnails now. So pretty easy to do. Prompt and recreate are probably going to be the most popular. You can always edit them as well. So I will talk about that as we go ahead. And so Let's say we're going to be doing one when it comes to something a little bit more viral. I'm going to say like a skateboarder and they're going to be going off a very big ramp. All right, so this is the first random idea that came to the top of my head. I will do some non like viral ones. I just kind of want to show you what you can do with a prompt. So give me a realistic thumbnail of a skateboarder going off a huge ramp on top of a building and in midair. Make it so that the thumbnail is zoomed out so that you can see how high up he is. Probably could have done that a little bit better, but something really cool here is you can do enhance prompt. So I don't know if you're like me, but a lot of times it's hard describing what you want on your thumbnails. This is really going to help. So I'm going to click right here. And it changed it around. So realistic thumbnail of a skateboarder in midair off a huge ramp atop of a tall building. Camera zoomed out to show the height, city skyline and background. So pretty cool. Let's go with that. Let's click on generate. I'm not going to be using my persona here. So let's just go with this one and click here. It's going to cost 10 credits for this thumbnail. And it's going to take some time as you can see. So when it is done, I will get back to you and uh, we will go from there. All right, and just like that, that is really good. <laughs> wow, I've done a few where it's like, okay, this looks a little bit too AIE, or maybe I wasn't specific enough, but there's not a whole lot that I would want to change on this. This is like really good. So from here, how you download it is click right there. You can do redo for another one. You can make edits. And of course, if you want some feedback. So if you go to edits right here, it's pretty straightforward. What you want to do is select the area that you want to edit. So like if you want to move this or like anything with this person, you could say move this more like to the left side. OK, or then like right in big viral letters here, like LOL, you know, something like that. It's pretty straightforward. It's more about highlighting what you want. You could say erase that. Like sometimes there might be a logo on the shirt. You could do something like, oops, let's do this. There we go. Uh, you can go like this. If there was like a logo there, you know, if they're wearing a hat and there's a logo, something on it and editing it is pretty straightforward. It's all about just kind of highlighting it and saying what you want to do with that. Okay. So that's going to be an example of using a prompt. I like how they have the enhanced prompt section there because I'm not that great at describing what I want. So I have a feeling a lot of people are kind of going to be in the same boat. So let's open up a new chat. So for this, there's going to be two options here. You can link to a thumbnail or a YouTube video. Uh, it's really up to you. So if you have the link, you can do that if you want to upload it as well. Uh, I'm just going to go to Mr. Beast very quickly and show you a nice little trick that if you ever want to get a thumbnail, I'm going to show you how to do that. So a little bit more than a tutorial. I get some tips here. Let me open up YouTube. All right. So here we are. Let's say I'm going to find one that I want to do like a face swap for. So I'm going to do one where the face is a little bit more in the middle do something like that. That's not too bad. Uh, let's do this one right here. So I'm going to click on this. Now I'm not sure what the short code for you is, but for me, it's going to be control U. 
this is gonna be the view source. Now, if you do control and F, you wanna type in max res, M-A-X-R-E-S, and hit enter. And if you'll notice, you just wanna open this up in a new tab. And this is gonna be how you can save a thumbnail that's very big. So if you ever wanted to do that way, you can do that, or you can just simply go back here, copy this and put it in the link, okay? So that's gonna be a way that you can do that if needed. So let's say I saved it, which I did already. I'm just gonna upload it very quickly. All right, so now that that is uploaded, we have persona right here. I'm gonna click on personas. I'm gonna do marketing island uh, and edits. Describe what you'd like to add, remove or replace. Okay, so let's do replace his face with my personas face and let's just do generate and once again when it is done i will get right back to you this one will be a little bit quicker all right and so here we are with our recreation once again we have download if you want to go with some redos you can do that then we move to edit, same exact thing like we talked about before, if you wanted to edit something, even like this rust, say like if this was the only rust here, you could just highlight this, talk about how you wanna remove it, and we can undo that. So that's gonna be editing. This is gonna be comparing, so you can see what it was before and after. So this is gonna be after, this is gonna be the before. So if you wanted to maybe illuminate the right side a little bit more, that's something you could do like this, See the left side here is all broken and battered. You know, you can make edits like that where if you wanted to say highlight it, or if you wanted a lot of changes here, you could just simply do the redo. And of course there's gonna be feedback overall. So I'm gonna do one more, which is gonna be the titles. All right, and this is gonna be a title. Give me a moment and I'm gonna type it in. All right, so write me a title about finding the best online course platform. This is going to be something that I use in my specific niche. Uh, enhanced prompts gonna be coming soon based upon when I'm creating this. So when you're watching this, hopefully it'll be up and running, but let's do generate. This is gonna be three credits. Okay, pretty straightforward. These aren't gonna be as viral as say some of like the Mr. Beast titles. So for me personally, I probably wouldn't use these as much compared to the thumbnails, but, but nevertheless, that is gonna wrap up this pixels.ai thumbnail tutorial. I hope you got some value out of this when it comes to getting up and running. And of course, if you were just watching this just to see how you can actually create some viral thumbnails and you'd like to test them out, you can click the link down below in the description or the pinned comment. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.